Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a continuation of my liquid lipstick review series and today is the highly requested brand Jouer. Jouer. I think that means, is that play in French? I think it is. I haven't had it for my French classes in very, very many years. So my prep is always the same. I exfoliated my lips with my Sarah Hap lip scrub. I went on and moisturized my lips with my Kaplan MD Lip 20 Balm while I did my makeup. Now I'm just going to remove the excess. Sorry if you can hear those people in the background. It's like 100 degrees in the city today and I had to open my window because I'm dying and I live right on a main street and so it can get kind of loud. I apologize. On my new protocol, I have started lining only half of my lips with lip liner to see if that affects transfer, which it actually hasn't in any of them that I've done so far, but I know some of you, you were concerned about that. So um, when I swatch this on the back of my hand, it appears that my max talking points is the most similar. So I'm just gonna line this half of my lips. I'm gonna give this a good shake, and as always for application, I will zoom in. I look a little orange, but it's the window, I think. Okay, now I'm just going to fill these in. This is a first impressions besides swatching it on my hand. I have not tried this. These smell really good. These smell like vanilla frosting, I think. That's nice. And now I'm just gonna fill in my lips. Okay, there we go, guys. So this went on very nice, very creamy. Um, when I did swatches on my hand, I noticed that it like completely dried down and when I do this, so I have high hopes for these. We'll see. Um, I would describe this formula as a thinner Stila Stay All Day and the fact that it is moussey and pigmented. You guys know the drill, it's always the same. I'm going to give this a total of eight hours worth of untouched wear. I will not retouch this, I will not apply a gloss, I will just go about my day. I will do my first check-in in four hours and then I will do the last check-in in the additional four hours. At the end of this video, I will do the kiss test to show if they transfer and I will also show if they layer well depending on if they've worn away anywhere. My first check-in, I always give you guys all the details, shipping, cost, color selection, yada, yada, yada. It's currently 1244, I will see you guys in four hours. Hey guys, it's 525. It's a little more than four hours after initial application of this. Actually, it's kind of starting to get closer to five hours after initial application of this. Sorry I wasn't on time. I was just on the phone freaking out with the delivery company. I have the worst luck with deliveries living in the city. I've never had so many issues until I moved. I've been waiting for my bed for like six weeks, six to eight weeks, whatever it may be. And it was supposed to be here today and I have to work a show in Reno. I have to leave tomorrow, so I'm working all weekend, so I'm not gonna be here. And I'm like, I swear to God, if you guys come tomorrow and leave it in my lobby, I'll be so mad. This has remained very comfortable. Um, it is slightly dry, but not too much. I will say that it kind of is not the most flattering on my lips, like it's kind of settled into the lines, but it, it doesn't feel really drying, which is weird because it looks kind of drying. Of course, as always, I will zoom in to show you the wear. First, let me tell you what I ate. So um, I've been trying to get really better about drinking water. Um, if you guys knew me before, I I like hate, I hated drinking water. It was like eating air to me, which is really stupid because water is really good for you and a necessity. But I never really, like I always drank kind of like either flavored water or coffee or juice or other things throughout the day and I wasn't really focusing on drinking water. It's so good for your skin, so good for your body. So for the past month, um, some of you guys have commented that you notice a difference in my skin too, which is nice, thank you. I drink a liter like this every morning and then I drink one throughout the day. So since I normally drink right out of this lip thing, I didn't want that not to be fair. So I dumped it in a glass and I have these little reusable straws. I've been drinking out of that. Um, this is that infuser that I posted on um, my Instagram that you guys asked me about. I love this thing and no, I'm not affiliated and no, I don't know this company. I bought it off at Amazon. If you guys are interested, um, I will link it below. Again, I'm not affiliated with this company. They don't know who the hell I am. I just, I like it. In this water, I have strawberry, basil, and lemon. That's my favorite mix. I make two of these the night before. I put them in the fridge and then I drink one first thing when I wake up in the morning. And it actually has little like time tickers on here. So you can see you fill this up twice how much water you're supposed to drink. It's kind of like a game to keep up with. I like that. 
That totally sounded like a commercial. And then for lunch, I had, you guys told me about these Boca. Um, I think Alina told me about these, which she told me about the burger patties. And I had seen these spicy chicken patties and I was like, they're vegan fake chicken. These are 10 times better than any buffalo style or spicy chicken sandwich that I've ever had. Um, they're amazing. I put this on um, a potato bun and I, and I just cut it with a fork and knife to eat it so I wasn't like or biting into it. Not really wearing off anywhere. Now let's get into some of the details on these. I realized that, um, I'm like, what the hell color am I wearing? Because I never mentioned it. This is uh, Fruit de la Passion. I actually really wanted, I think it was papaya, um, but they were all sold out. That one was like more of a metallic-y color. Um, the Jouet website had this color and I think one other one in stock and the rest were all sold out. And so actually when I looked at what their shipping and everything was, I'm like, oh, I can get like next day shipping with Nordstrom they deliver um or you could just go into Nordstrom and pick this up so I got this from Nordstrom not directly from the site um I did look where you can buy them you can buy them directly on jouetcosmetics.com on birchbox.com Nordstrom's in store or Nordstrom's online cult beauty derm store beauty.com friends.com which friends.com um R-E-N-D-S. They actually sell a lot of uh, Viseart and other things and they actually have some great sales sometimes. So if you're interested in any of those, that's where you can get these. So I don't have any shipping information for you guys. Um, they do on Nordstrom's site, they do take PayPal or credit card, which I like. The packaging, um, it just comes in this tiny, it's like a shorter looking little tube. The thing that I found really odd is it's almost like a little beveled piece in here and it almost looks like it would slide in with other ones, but I don't see that anywhere. Do you see this? It's like, it sticks out a little further. I don't know, is my packaging weird? Does anybody else's do that? It has like a groove in there, but I'm like, what is that for? I don't know. According to this package, it says these are made in the USA and you are getting 0.21 fluid ounces of product, which is actually an impressive amount of product. There's a little jar with the open symbols showing that this has a 12 month shelf life from the date of opening. Again, I don't have any order or shipping date information for you guys. Currently, these are available in 20 shades and four of which being a new collection they just released called the Mermaid Collection. They do have some mattes. Um, the one I'm wearing today is described as a cool bright pink and they do have some metallic ones. Like I mentioned, I really want that papaya one. These are listed as cruelty free that they do not test on animals, which is really nice. Brand claims these are paraben free. It says this lightweight long wearing lip cream offers full coverage color with a soft touch finish that glides on smoothly and lasts all day. Cool. Uh, so the ingredients are on the side of this box and they're also on the website. So they have some solvents, some emollients, uh, things to control viscosity, more emollients, more viscosity controllers, moisturizers, antioxidants, sunscreen, moisturizer, surfactant, preservative, pigments, sunscreen. Nothing in here that would cause me any cause for concern for putting it on my lips. If you have very sensitive skin or even acne prone skin, there are a few ingredients in here that if you get it outside your lips, uh, have the potential of causing irritation. Um, again, that's just for acne, acne prone skin. I will have a video coming up. Um, it's a crap ton of work because there are so many different ingredients to kind of tell you things to look for and things to avoid, blah, blah, blah. That will be coming hopefully in the near future. That's all I pretty much have to say about these guys. I will see you in another four hours. Hey guys, it's 9.07, a little more than eight hours after initial application of this lipstick. I feel like I look really kind of like, my makeup my makeup looks really bad right now um, because I just, I'm about to take it off and put pajamas on and watch a movie with Keegan. So I'm not trying to retouch it. <laughs> so for dinner, I made that salad that I showed a picture on Instagram of. Um, I ate that off a fork. Everything was cut up in small pieces. And I have been drinking water out of a straw. Um, you guys, I forgot to mention last time, I don't really see any on here. There's a very few little particles on there, but nothing you can really see. These have remained pretty comfortable. Um, when I zoom in to show you, uh, right here on the very outer corners, it has started to get a little kind of like crumbly or a little discolored and it looks like it's going to peel. Nothing unusual. Again, I've eaten 
two meals with this and I haven't retouched. Slightly dry, but I would say they're actually one of the more moisturizing, lightweight formulas I have tried. You can see right here and right there. I have my list printed out. As always, how these rank is going to be determined by the kiss test and how these layer. So this thing held up like a champ. I have done some dishes, washed my hands after going to the restroom a few times, and it really hasn't budged. Um, rubbing it like this, it gets really faint, a little pink on my finger, but not much, which I'm actually surprised because I can't say that I'm ever that I've ever tried a formula that's this kind of smear proof that wasn't significantly more drying. So nothing on the back of this hand. We have transfer all the way around. While it's not huge, it's definitely on the side that I lined and the side that I didn't line. So let me give this a shake and zoom in for a uh, touch up. I'm trying to make sure I stay in frame. Mm. Ugh, that's gross. Hmm. Kind of tastes like clay. Not that I eat clay. Let me give this a second to dry down and uh, then I'll show you guys. Okay, I don't find that these layer excellent. Um, it just kind of looks, I mean, it definitely pushed the crumbles around, but it definitely added some more texture to the lips. You can kind of see in here, right here where I pushed it around. So oh, I, I did also want to let you guys know that, again, I only have experience with this one color. I've heard very polarizing reviews. I've heard some people that absolutely swear by these and love these, and then I've also heard people say that these are totally hyped up and they suck. So again, I can only go on this one. It does appear to be some color inconsistencies, so I would tell you just research the color that you're thinking of getting, look at swatches and look up other reviews to see if it's streaky or it crumbles, because again, I have heard. Um, someone on Instagram actually told me that they have four of them and two of them they love and two of them they hate. Um, so again, buyer beware. I'm gonna rank these at the new number 15 and bump everything uh, NYX lip lingerie and down. The reason for that is because I find the color selection of these opposed to the NYX better. Um, I like how much product you get in here. I do like the smell. These are comfortable. If you are someone that hates extremely dry liquid lipsticks, this could be a great option for you. They're losing points for me because I feel like it makes my looks, lips look kind of tired and dry. And while all liquid matte lipsticks do, because by nature the matte is going to be dry and flat looking, I just am not loving the way it accentuates the lines right here. So I wouldn't hesitate to recommend at least this color to anybody. I would like to pick up that papaya color if it ever comes back in stock. Um, with that being said though, with all the brands I have above these, I will not buy any more of these. Uh, I don't find the formula that unique. Um, the only time I would pick it up is if it's a really cool color like that papaya color. But you are getting a decent amount of product for a decent cost, which again, I like. As always guys, my updated list will be floating somewhere around here. Pretty soon my face is going to be gone. I know I've showed you guys this before, but this is my jar of all the brands I have that you guys have asked me to buy that I've bought and I just keep sitting in here for review. I have a ton to catch up on. Work has been kicking my butt lately, so. If you guys found this review helpful, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. Please remember that I have started a voting list. Um, it's always going to be linked in my liquid lipstick review series where you guys can see what I've already reviewed so you don't ask for the same one. If you're curious, you'll know to find my playlist. And there's a spot to request a brand if I don't have it listed. Everyone in that jar that I have is listed that you guys can vote for to see which one you want next. That way I ensure I'm doing the most relevant reviews for you guys. Some of you guys want to see like 8 trillion. Um, it's just I do have to dedicate an entire day to do this because I have to be home to be able to do the check-ins. So it has been taking me a little longer. I haven't forgot about you guys though. Thank you so much for tuning in guys and I will see you next time. Bye.